Gabriela Knudsen, apurada para a segunda ronda do Eu Pago Porto Open. Gabriela, I don't know where should I start. Should I start to congratulate you for the title uh, on Sunday or for uh, the win against the, the first seed of the tournament? Uh, both. I feel I'm on a good roll. Um, I feel I haven't really stopped since last week. So I feel it's all just like one tournament. Um, and yes, so I feel good. It's easier to to play a, the tournament for a, for a, a title in, on Sunday? I think it's actually much harder, and okay. especially I have the same opponent that I played yes. in the quarterfinals. Yes, so quarterfinals. I think it's always harder to beat the opponent twice, especially very quickly back to back. And I always think it's hard to come back after winning because if you lose in the finals, you still have that hunger, but if you win, it's suddenly like you feel like you got the job done and then to come back within two days back on the court and find the hunger and the passion and the fight again it's really difficult and to be honest i've never done it very well before so this is the first time i'm actually coming back after winning and playing good and feeling really good so i'm proud of myself yeah congrats for that because you play very well it seems like you match up very well against her because you were so much more aggressive than her. Yes. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. I think she played better today. I think the wind and the slow courts helped her, but I think I adjusted well and I played differently to last week. But I talked with my coaches and I was ready for her to play better. I was ready for her to be more challenging today, and it was, but I handled it well. Yeah, but it seemed on the control till the for all in the second set. So it was. The, the hardest part, I guess, of the match at that end, that end of the second set. Yeah, I think she relaxed a little bit. I got a bit nervous, so it was tough to finish, especially in my head, you know, knowing that this is the fourth set of winning against her, and it's tough mentally to battle that. And she started playing a bit better, but I handled it well. I think it's the first time that I'm watching you live on that court because I saw you on Oeiras, in Oeiras uh, this year. I guess you, you played so much better on yeah, that. I'm a completely different yeah. person. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, I played on hardcore only for about seven, eight years, and that's a long time. Yeah. Um in college in America, in college in England, and then my first year pro all on hardcore. That's eight years is a long time. So and even then before as a junior, I still have hardcore tennis. I always had a preference. So I feel I play 500, 600 level on clay. Top 200 level on board, and if I want to play the slams, I need to play at top 200 level. So, but what's the reason? It's because you you take the ball on the rise. Uh, yeah, it's the time, my timing, my footwork. It's all suited for hardcore. It's not that I'm. I have spin. I use my short wide shots. I like to come on the net. So technically, I should play well on clay. I have good volleys, but the timing and the footwork just is not right yeah. for clay. You are not one of the seed of the tournament, but of course you beat the first one. Uh, you came for, from a title. Should you, we consider you one of the favorites here in, in Porto? I don't think so. I think anything can happen. I, to be honest, looking at the draw, I think I can beat anyone and I can also lose to anyone. Um, it's the same like if I play the qualities of a grand slam. Like I look at the, and it's freaking tough. I'm 14th here. And I wouldn't say the last person that, oh, I beat them super easy, and clearly the number one, I'm not going to lose to her. So, to be honest, I think the margins are so thin, and the ranking, you know, from 150 to 250 is the same. We're all the same level, it just depends on the day. So, we will see. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you look at the draw, you know who's going to be your next opponent, yes, right? Yes, Valentina Reiser yeah. from Switzerland, I yeah. think. We will see what you happens. You know it? Nope. I have to do some research. Too. Okay. <laughs> it's you, you made the research, it's the coach, both, uh, yeah, all, all both. that work. Both. Yes, 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 both. And then we talk in the morning and um, figure out a plan. I know your story uh, because I heard some interviews you gave for colleagues of mine in Portugal. So I have to ask you. Uh, Sawing you play, especially on art, for me, you are too good for ITF tournaments. While we do the respect for the tournaments and the players. so. Do you agree with me? Are you uh, are you coming to the top? How do you see your tennis, your level? We will see. I sometimes, some days, I believe yes. Uh, like today, obviously, I feel great. Um, other days, not so much. So I think right now, 
I belong here and I need to work my way up. I think there's a lot of improvements I have to make and when I make it to the WTAs consistently, then we can say I made it. But <laughs> for now, I'm still here, so I belong here. But where do you see yourself, like for example, the end of the year, where do you see yourself? Or from one month, from one year, from now, where do you see yourself? I, I would like to be back to at least top 150. I think I can definitely, I had a bit of a tough start to the year, so I'm kind of playing catch up. Yeah. I got injured four or five weeks before French Open, okay. so French Open was just, I was happy to even be playing. Um, so I, I was struggling and then I was on clay before. So it was a bit of a tough first half of the year, so now I'm kind of coming back. So I'm just trying to not put some pressure on myself and I want to minimum end the year top 200. That's minimum yeah. and then if we can push it, we push it of course. It's where you are at the moment, top 200. Yes, yes, yes but I have work to do to the end of the year. So five weeks before the French, it was the Oedas time? It yes. was around that time? Right after Oedas, I um, broke my hand. Oh. So I was in a cast for um, five weeks. Left hand. Yeah, left hand, but still I played four hands for five weeks. <laughs> I played for two days and went to play French Open. It was a tough time. Yeah, keep going. But you have five titles, I believe. Mm -hmm. Three of them in Portugal. So are you trying to get citizen, Portuguese oh, citizen? I love it here, I swear. No, no, if, if I can, I, I really, really like it. It okay. reminds me of California a little okay. bit. So I have Czech half American and I was the half of the time when I was in America, I was in California. Um, and this one is, yeah, it reminds me of Portugal, of California, yeah. so I like it here very much. I mean, you, you have to, to get the Portuguese citizen. Yes, <laughs> yes. I heard oh, yeah, that she's a good training facility, yeah. but I don't play on play, so... <laughs> and we have much more play to the courts than... I, if, if I get training, I can change to citizenship. I'll be, me and Francisca will be like this. <laughs> <laughs> but at this moment, you, you, I guess you know all the country. Almost uh, all the country. Yeah. Which part do you prefer? Which Lisbon. Lisbon. I love Lisbon. I love the Oeiras as well. That okay. area and then Belém. I, I loved it. It was very nice. And then next week I go to Figueira. Yeah. Of so yeah. I'm, I've never been there, so I'm excited. It's well. close to the sea. You enjoy. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> whole family is coming. Oh really? For vacation for oh. them, not for me. <laughs> yeah. You have a job to do. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think about Porto? Porto is the biggest rival of Lisbon. So yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I this time I haven't really seen anything, yeah. um, but I will go. It's gorgeous, of course. It's beautiful. Like it's I, I really like it as well. And the city centre is so nice. Yeah. I guess you get uh, this question a lot, so I'm I'm gonna be quick on that. But of course, what happened with with the Czech tennis to win champions in a row? What's the secret? You guys have, have to, to have something to, to give us. We, I think it's a good combination of we work really hard and the parents are crazy. But in a good way. Okay. My mom was crazy in the best way possible and she pushed me so hard. And um, The coaches, the parents are all very, very into it. Crazy. And the kids really, really work hard. Um, so I think it's that mentality. And then the style of tennis we play very hard, all of us have great backhands, hard, strong strokes, so I think that combination of the parents, good coaching and really hard work ethic. But all, all of you, or almost all of you, has great technique, Vandrushova, Kachikova, Mukhova, of course, my favorite player, uh, why? Why are you so technique, so, so stupid? What? Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's even the coaching or we just, I also think there's a lot of competition. So, say I grew up with Mukova, me and her really? are good friends, so we were at the same academy. So, of course, you know, if we, then I play good if she plays good, so there's a lot of competition and we play as juniors uh, within each other, so I think good level, you know, good training, good level, and we kind of push ourselves. And when you see a player like Kachikova winning for the second time against some uh, title, that inspires you as well to, to, yeah, to get to the top? Of course, I practiced with her a month or two back and well, she's so nice, I really like her as well. I know her since childhood um, and I'm very, very happy she won. But of course, it's very motivational for me because it's possible. Yeah. And for it, like Lulu San, who I lost to in the second round of Wimbledon, okay. I had a match point, but she makes quarterfinals. Oh. So it's very possible. Always that you, I heard that she had to say the match point. Yes, that's me. Oh, that must hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay right now? Yeah, yeah. It just shows that, you know, it's possible. Yeah. Anything can happen.
Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck.